Today we're going to be doing a binding. This binding is to keep someone from harming other people with their actions and their words. Okay, so the way that we're going to do this is pretty much, it's very simple. All you need is a white candle, and that's for Santissima. Okay, uh, the other one's going to be a black candle, and that's for the work. You're going to need ground cinnamon. You can also use um, instant coffee, and that's for speed. You want it to hurry up, and I need this to be a fast-working ritual, okay? So um, I'm going to be using both just because I'm hoping it hurries up and, and, and manifests. All right, you would need binding oil, but I am going to use Santa Muerte oil. I'm also going to use Espíritu Tranquilo, and that is to calm this person down, okay? Calm spirit, okay? I want this person to calm down. So um, another thing I'm going to use is a photo of the person. You need a photo of the person. I'm going to be using this for privacy reasons, of course, but I'm really, I really am going to be doing this ritual. I'm just going to be doing it on the actual photo, and I will not be saying the person's name on this video, okay? So I will be using this to represent what I'm going to be doing, okay? So you need the person's photo, you need the date of birth. If you don't have the date of birth, that's okay. Just the person's photo would work, will work. So you also need black thread. Black thread, this is gonna be for the binding, okay? And you need scissors, of course, to to cut the thread, okay? And you need a black pen or a colored pencil. Colored pencil works great. Pen, um, since I'm actually using a real photo, um, a colored pencil will not work, so the I'm going to be using a black marker. If you are printing the picture from your printer, then obviously that kind of paper stock, you can use a colored pencil, so feel free to use that. Um, black colored pencil, all right? So I'm also using the Palo Santo and the Siete Macho Spray because I'm going to cleanse my area. Um, some people do and some people don't do this extra just to protect themselves. I do it just because. You don't have to. Some people don't believe in it. I don't care what people believe and what people do not. I do it for myself. Okay, so I am going to burn the Palo Santo and I am going to cleanse my area and I am going to spray my area with my Siete Machos and Florida Water Mix, okay? And um, I'm also going to, I have three red apples that I'm going to be offering to Santissima um, for this work, okay? So as a thank you and a please, please and thank you. And then obviously when this work um, transpires and it, and it manifests, then I will be giving her something else and that's between her and I. So without further ado, let me begin by lighting the charcoalette. I want this to start burning. I want this to start burning and, and heating up because I'm gonna be putting some rosemary on here. And while this, this heats up, I'm going to be continuing on. And this takes a minute to turn on to heat up. That's why I'm using the lighter. Because I don't want to sit here with the matches and um, burn myself and use a lot of matches in the process to get it lit up. All right, so hopefully it catches on and it starts heating up. Sometimes you have to light it some more and give it some more fire. Um, you give it a little minute to start heating up, okay? So just don't keep lighting it because it's already got some heat on it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to invocate, is I'm, I'm going to say my invocation prayer to Santissima, okay? So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
Immaculate being of light, I beg of you to grant all the favors I ask of you until the last day, hour, and moment when the Divine Majesty commands you to take me before His presence. Santissima Muerte, beloved of my heart, do not leave me without your protection. Amen. All right, so now that I have my prayer done, I am going to light my white candle first. But before I do that, I want to get my Agua Florida. And I want to cleanse this candle. Clean it up. Cleanse the candle to remove all negative energy that came with this candle, with whoever touched it in the process of making it before it came to me. I am blessing it, removing all negativity. Okay? So that's my white candle. I am going to do the same for the black candle. I have my spray bottle mixture here. Do the same things. Please remove all negative energy that came with this candle. Before it came to me, I am removing all negativity. Okay. To me, it doesn't matter if you go up or down or whatever. It's removing it, getting rid of it. Okay. So, there's that. Now I'm going to light it. I am going to light my white one first. Okay. Okay. If my matches want to work, which they probably don't, let me use the bigger matches. Okay. All right. We're going to put the white candle first. Light you up. We're going to do the black candle. Light you up. All right, add some heat because this one didn't stick all the way. Okay. It did not stick all the way. I want it straight. Okay. Oops. All right. So there's that. So let me see if my charcoal is ready to go. Throw my rosemary, a little bit of rosemary. I'm not burning too much. All right, so now I'm going to light my Palo Santo. And I am going to use my lighter. No, I will use my matches and keep it consistent. I just have to use the big ones. All right. Light this up. I want to bless my space before I begin. Okay. Now you're going to say your prayer, say whatever you want to Santissima to please bless your work. Santissima, please bless my space. Don't let any negative energy get into this. Don't let any negative energy interfere with my work, with my petition. I'm going to bless my whole entire space that I am working in, okay? Including Santissima space. Okay? You can bless it however you see fit. This is how I do it. I don't take people's suggestions, recommendations. This is how I see fit, okay? Now I'm going to use my Santa Muerte, um, I'm sorry, my Siete Machos and my Agua Florida mix. And I am going to spray the area. Careful with not spraying the candle because obviously this has alcohol. Spray my area. Please bless my area. Take all away all negativity. 
Bless me while I do this work. All right. Now that's out of the way, then we're going to begin. All right. So I use clear plates because I like to read the candle wax once it's done burning. So I have the white one on the white one and the black one on the clear one. It doesn't matter the color. Um, I like to see, I don't like patterns because I like to be able to see my candle wax clearly and not be mistaken by any kind of pattern. All right, so let's begin. So the first thing you're gonna do after you've lit all your candles is you want to get your picture, okay? And you want to tell the picture, this person, what you want from them all right what this is all about all right you do not want to um be weak about this you know reservations you tell this person what it is that you are doing what you want okay so i am going to take my real picture okay and i'm going to hold it and i am going to tell this person i want you to stop Hurting other people. I want you to stop with your actions. I want you to stop telling people stuff that's hurting people. I want you to stop with your bullshit. I want you to stop thinking only of yourself and being so self-centered. I want you to stop and control your mind and your mouth and your body. I want you to stop being a nuisance and harassing and bullying I want you to stop with the physical activity that you are doing, that you are harming people, with the combativeness, with the assaulting, okay? I want you to stop with your bullshit. Quit it. That's enough. You are hurting too many people, and all these people are feeling the burden of your presence. So stop it. Calm down. Relax. Control your mind, control your body, control your mouth, control yourself. I want you to stop it. You have hurt enough people in your life, your family, your friends, your acquaintances. You have hurt enough people in the path that you are living on. Okay? Quit it. That's enough. It stops now. It's enough of your tantrums. It's enough of your bullshit. It's enough. We've all had enough. Everyone's had enough. Your family's had enough. Your wife, your sons, your daughters, your neighbors, your friends, everyone. Everyone that has ever made contact with you, including the police, the ambulance, EMTs, nurses, all of those professionals have had enough of you. That's enough of your bullshit. Today, it shall stop. All right. So now, when you're saying all this, you want to say the person's name. I already said the person's name before. I just don't want to put it, put it on video, okay? So now you're going to turn to the back of your photo, all right? And you're going to put the person's name across the top and date of birth, okay? Then, well, I'll, let me do this first, and then I will show you what to do next. So we are going to put this person's name and date of birth. All right. Now, this is not obviously the person's name that I am showing. Okay. So, this is what you're going to do, person's name and date of birth. You're going to turn it counterclockwise, and you are going to put your petition here. It doesn't have to be a lot. This is a small picture because you're also going to manifest it in speech, okay? So, you're going to put right here what it is that you want, all right? So we're going to do that now. I'm going to do it here on the sample.
All right. So I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to do it on the real picture off camera. But this is how it's supposed to look like scribbles. Okay. So you're going to put the name this way in date of birth and then you're going to turn it counterclockwise and you're going to put what it is that you want. Small to the point sentences. It doesn't have to be complete sentences. If you have room, go for it. But you're going to manifest this in speech. So it's still going to be manifested. It's still going to be spoken. Okay. The intent's still going to be there. So you want to put that here. Okay. So that's what you're going to do here. So now let me do it on my real picture before I continue. So now, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your picture and you are going to anoint it with your oil, okay? You can use one or two oils. I mean, this is a small picture. I am only going to use, you know, I'm just going to put it on my finger and then just dab it on here. So I'm going to use a little bit of both oils that I have, which is the Santa Muerte oil and the um, Calm Your Spirit oil. Okay, so um, I'll show you on this picture so that way you have a visual of what to do. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the Santa Muerte. I'm going to anoint it and I'm going to tell it, John Doe, you will calm down. You will rest your mind, your body, your actions. Okay. And you're going to anoint it. I'm not even paying attention. So, it's, you know, just put it all over the place. Okay? All over the place. So, let me do that to mine. And I'm going to do it on the face part. Because I wrote on the back. And I don't want my writing to um, smear. So, I am going to do it on the face. Which, you want to do it on the face anyways. Because you want it on the inside. All right, so let me talk to my target. You are going to stop with your actions. You are going to stop with your bullshit. You are going to stop harming others and causing trouble. You're no longer going to hurt anyone. You are going to stop with your bullshit. You're going to stop harming other people. You're going to stop bothering other people. And acting on your thoughts and your actions. You need to control yourself. You need to control your mouth. Shut your ass up. Alright. So now that that is complete. Let me get rid of the items that I am no longer using. Because I don't want clutter on my altar while I'm working. Alright. So... I ran out of rosemary. I'm going to add more here because uh, the rosemary that was on there, it burnt out. All right. So, all right. So now what you're going to do after you're done anointing your picture, you're going to put ground cinnamon. All right. Just a little bit because I want to add some oomph to this work. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay. You don't want it seeping out of your your work all right and i'm gonna do this to my my real photo hold on give it some power this cinnamon also works for speed okay i want to add some speed to this i want to hurry up i want it to manifest quickly how quick it all depends on mama okay so now i'm going to get my instant coffee 
And I'm only going to get a little bit, okay? Like I said, you don't want this dripping out of your work. So you're going to do this. Just a little bit. Um, let me put on my real one. All right. So now, get this out of the way. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to fold my photo away from me, okay? Away from me. Be careful not to spill your your stuff. Turn it counterclockwise, being careful. I mean, obviously I'm trying to do it for the camera so it might spill. And slowly start folding it away from you. Okay? You wanna keep telling him to quit his shit. Stop bothering people. Whatever it is that you are binding this person for, okay? So let me do it on the real picture because now I can show you without putting the real person's photo on live. So I am going to fold it, all right, away from me, clockwise, all right. Now I'm going to keep telling him what I want. I want you to shut up. Quit your bullshit. Stop hurting other people. Stop harassing others. Stop bullying others. Stop hurting your family, your friends, anybody you come in contact with. You're full of shit. You're full of bullshit. Quit your shit. That's enough. Okay? So now, it's as tight as I can get it because I don't want nothing falling out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my thread, okay? I am going to get my thread, and I am going to leave a little bit out here, all right? Uh, I don't know, a couple inches, six inches maybe, whatever. All right, I'm going to leave it out, and I'm going to start from here, and this is where the binding begins, all right? So let me put my thread there. I want to make sure it doesn't fall. So let me get a little bit out. Again, you know, doing it from the camera for the camera is a little different than doing it when you're not on the camera. You don't struggle as much, okay? So now you're gonna have about six inches left out here, right? You want this because in the end you're going to tie. And you want to have enough to tie, okay? The knots. You're gonna do nine knots in the end. So it doesn't matter how many times you bind this, you are going to bind, okay? So now you're going to say the person's name. I'm going to say it in private and then I'm going to bind, okay? So I am binding you from harming others, from causing trouble to family. I am binding you so you never hurt anyone else. I am binding you from your actions, your negativity. I am binding you from bothering others. I bind you from acting on your thoughts and I bind you from your mouth. I bind your mouth to stay shut. Just shut the fuck up already. I bind you. I bind you and I bind you. Everyone is tired of your shit. I am binding you to keep your mouth shut. I am binding you to stop hurting other people, hurting everyone that's around you. From your mouth, your thoughts, your actions. Your physical abuse, your physical actions. I bind you from acting out on your thoughts. I bind you. Now I'm going back, and this is binding them three times, okay? So now I'm going back down. All right? Now I am going to cut it here. Let me get the scissors. Mm. Cut it here. It doesn't matter what you cut it, honestly. Hold on. Let me cut it off camera. Because it doesn't want to. Alright. So let me remove the yarn from here. Okay. So now, I am going to do nine knots. Okay? I'm going to seal this up. I'm going to knot it nine times. So, um, let me see if I can do it on camera. I'm not sure, 
But while you are nodding, you are going to keep saying, I bind you and whatever it is that you want to say, okay? So let me do the nine knots. I don't know if I can do it on camera. Let me try. But I need to, you know, it's so small. I need to be able to put it somewhere. So, I mean, just know that I'm doing it nine times. All right. Even if I can't, I can't see what I'm doing. So, all right. So I'm going to do my first knot. I, I bind you from hurting other people. That's one. I bind you from acting on your thoughts. I bind your mouth to keep it shut. Okay, now I can do it on camera because I can hold it. I bind your, I bind your mouth to keep it shut. I bind you from your actions, from your negativity. Four. I am binding you to never hurt anyone. Five. I am binding you to stop bothering others. Six. I bind you for you to stay away from people. Eight. I bind you to calm down and control your mouth. And nine. I bind you from harming other people and yourself. Done. All right. This is now complete. You can cut the rest of this or leave it. I leave enough just because I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. All right. So now I'm going to cut it because I left a lot. But again, I'd rather have more than enough than not enough thread to make my knots. All right. I've gotten myself cut up to where I don't have enough for my knots. And I have to, I'm sorry, you know. Okay. So there's that now what you want to do okay now you're going to get your black candle and you are going oh, i'm out of town now you're going to get your black candle and you are going to seal this binding all right you're going to seal this petition with your wax now be very careful let me see if i can get some tweezers okay hold on a second i didn't think about that maybe i should have done okay hold on a second because now that this is uh, done, it's a little small, right? So let me, all right. Let me get some tweezers, all right? I want to get it from here. It doesn't matter where I get it from, all right? I just want to get it. I don't want it to fall. So what's going to happen now is I am going to get the candle, the black candle, and I am going to wax all the way, all the way, and I am going to seal my petition in here. Okay? I am going to bind it to ensure that it stays bound. All right? And I am going to keep speaking my intention and saying this person's name. All right? So let me see if I can do it on camera. So I'm going to bring my candle forward, bring my white one back, push my white one back. Let me add more rosemary. All right, so now I want my candle. Let me see, am I on camera? Yes, okay. So now I am going to, well, maybe it doesn't matter if I do that. No, it does, actually. Hold on a second. So now I bind you. Take your time. You're going to say the person's name. I bind you to ensure you stay bound. I am binding this with wax to ensure you stay bound. I am binding this with wax to ensure you stay bound. I no longer want, want you to cause any harm to anyone. I don't want you to call, I don't want you to harm anyone with your words, with your actions. Your instability, you're unstable. I bind you and I seal this bind. Okay, 
I am binding you to ensure you stay bound and no longer cause harm to anyone around you. I bind you so that you don't cause harm with your actions or your words. I bind you and I keep you bound. You will not be released until you get yourself under control. This part right here is going to take time because you have to wait for the wax to melt and fall onto your petition. Okay? You want to make sure it's all coated with wax. Okay? All the way. Get some inside the picture if you need to. Just be careful not to burn yourself, okay? So I don't know if this is uh, being caught on camera yet, okay? I'm trying to watch the camera at the same time. So this might stick to the tweezers, but it's okay. You just pull it out. All right. So this is now sealed, okay? You want to drop a little bit of wax here. Because you want to put this back down. You want this to finish. Alright. And I want this to finish melting. So now. Let that finish melting. I mean I'm sorry. Let that finish uh, drying up. So it will seal the petition. Okay. Now. I got to clean my tweezers. Okay. So now that that is done. What we're going to do is what I do is I put this petition on Santissimo Muerte's altar, which is where I always work. As you can see in all my videos, I'm always working on her altar. So this time I am going to put this petition on her altar and she's going to hold on to it. Okay. You can bury it, but you know, I don't, I, I am not going to do that. Okay. Why? Because I want to refresh this petition, uh, it depends. If, if he starts to act up again in a month, then I will come back and refresh my petition. Now, how do you refresh your petition? All you need to refresh your petition is yarn. Use the same thread, yarn, whatever that you use to bind. You're going to use the same one, okay? Or another one if you run out. doesn't matter, okay? But the same thing. So I am going to get this and... You know how I showed you that you're binding? You're going to leave a couple of inches out and you're going to refresh it. You're going to refresh this petition. And you're going to do the same thing. I bind you I keep, to keep your mouth shut. I bind you to watch your actions. Whatever that you want to say. You will refresh it, okay? Three times. One all the way down, back down, and three times, okay? However many times. But I do it three times. It, it worked for three times, so use three times. So... And then you're going to knot it nine times again, and then you put it back on her altar. Now, this is already dried up, as you can see. I don't know if it's clear or not. But, um, all right, so now, that's how you're going to refresh, okay? If, if you don't need to refresh every month, then go ahead and do it every three months, okay? Every three months, come back, pick this up, and bind it just to keep it fresh. Even if, even if uh, he's not fully or she's not fully acting up, come back and refresh it. Okay, every three months. But of course, if they if you see signs that they're acting up again or they might be acting up again, come back in a month and do it again. And that's all you know. That's all you gotta do is just uh, bind them again. Okay. So now I am going to put this on Santissima's altar, and I am going to tell Santissima, Santissima Madre Mia, I am putting this petition on your altar. I ask that you bind. From hurting others with his actions and words. I ask that you bind him from being a nuisance. And from burdening his family and friends. Or anyone in his path. I'm asking you mamacita to please, please bind him. And keep him bound. Until he stops with his bullshit. Until he is either under control. Or he has been helped by medical professional. Or however it is that it stops him from being this person. Please mama. Keep him bound. Bind him. And I ask you, and I 
beg of you to bind and keep him from harming others and keep him from acting on his thoughts and impulses. Keep him from hurting others with violence. Now that I have asked Mamacita to do such, then I am going to put this in on her. Um, there's a cauldron on here where I put petitions. Okay. That need to sit with her for a little while. Okay. Anything that's permanent does not sit on something she must alter. This is only for petitions that need to be refreshed every couple weeks, every couple months, whatever. Anything that needs to be refreshed stays on her altar. Anything that's permanent, that's a different story. We will not talk about that here. So anyways, I have a small cauldron here. Okay. That I will put my petition in. Mamacita, here is where I need you to hold and bind and keep him bound. All right? So, um, that's where I will stay. When I need to come back and bind him again, that's where I will come and get him. All right? If you have a lot of binds in there, you need to make sure that you know what... I mean, I'm not a lot of binds. If you have a lot of petitions in her cauldron, you need to make sure you know which is which, okay? So, um, right now, this is where I'm holding my binders. Um, any other petition goes in there, but they're different color. Um, I keep a little notebook, a little post-it. It depends on what it is. Um, or you take pictures and put them in on your phone, and you know which one is which, okay? So, don't mess it up. So, right now, that's where this bind is going to stay, all right? If you need to refresh, you use the yarn, the thread, the black thread. You don't need to use the wax anymore, okay? You don't need to seal it with the wax. It's already sealed. You're just refreshing it by putting more energy and more intention so you can continue to manifest what it is that you came to do the first time around. All right. Now that that is complete, I am going to, all right, I am going to give her her offerings. Let me finish with my rosemary. Put some more rosemary um, because my chocolate is still burning. And I'm still working, so I still want it to. And I love the smell of rosemary. All right. There. All right. So after that, I'm going to let it keep continue to die. I mean, continue to burn. And that's it. Okay. I am going to. Let me get rid of this. I am going to give her her offerings right now. I give her three apples. All right. And when the petition starts to work and manifest itself, then I will give her what I'm going to promise her. Then, like I said, it's between her and I. So here are her apples. Here you go, mommy. Thank you for listening. Thank you for considering my petition, mamacita. Okay. Those are for mama. I am using my black and my white Santa Muerte. Okay. Because I'm working, because I am working with the black Santa Muerte, but I want my white Santa Muerte's protection, okay? That is why. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I am going to light up a cigarette. I'm sorry, not a cigarette. A cigar and give her some puffs. Okay? Cigar. My dark and mild. Puff it on her. Now, you know how to puff it on her? You do it backwards. Put it in your mouth and blow. Okay? I'm going to blow on her three times. I can also blow on the petition. Which, you know what? I will do that. Let me get the petition out. I'm not going to take it out. I'm just going to blow in here. Okay. All right. that put it back 
let this burn off. All right, this is from Amita. And that concludes the bind from Harming Others, okay? Um, I'm making sure that she has her fresh water. She has her tequila. I just gave her her smoke. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to close off and use my Palo Santo again. I'm going to do it from the black candle and light it from the white candle. All right. I am going to seal my space again just because I want to all right I know a lot of people haven't are saying that you know you don't need to do this you don't need to do that if you do it right if you do it wrong you know what everybody works differently I don't care what anybody says all right I will cleanse my space and I'm not gonna not cleanse my space because somebody says you don't need to I don't care what anybody says I know my work I know how mamita works for me and i know i'm already protected okay but that doesn't mean that you let your guard down all right i will always cleanse my space again i don't care what other people say you do you and i do me because i already know how mama works for me okay so there's that and that concludes this petition this binding from harming others okay i will let my candles burn down um if you read candle wax then you can go ahead and read your candle wax so you can read your white one and you can read your black one um your black one um it doesn't necessarily it's not going to necessarily say anything or show anything because of the fact that you used it to seal and you know you have wax dripping everywhere but you can okay um you may or may not read it, be able to read it, but you can read your white one if it says anything, if it doesn't. Sometimes she doesn't say anything, okay? I have done petitions to where she doesn't say anything. Literally, there's nothing to say. It burns straight down and there are no images. There's nothing to see. There is nothing to say. So, hey, I'm okay with that. If she's perfect and everything's good, she will not tell me anything. But if there is a warning or there is something I need to know, she will tell me and it will come out of my wax and I will read it. But the last couple of times, she has not told me anything. It, she really didn't have anything to say. So with that being said, we are done here. Let the candles burn down. Um, I know some of you like to use the seven day candles, the glass candles, but I like to use stick candles because I like to be able to read the candles and see what what has to be what has to be communicated to me all right everyone's different you do what you like this is how i work i love using stick candles for that reason okay so i hope everybody has a blessed day i hope you learn something from this again you do you you do what you feel that you need to do this is something that i have asked with i have consulted with my santissima and she guided me into what i need to be doing right now some of the stuff came to me towards towards the end obviously which is blowing the smoke on the petition in the end okay so um it wasn't something i wrote down earlier so i write stuff down on how i'm going to do things because not every petition is the same so if i do another bind it may or may not be the same way okay it all depends and sometimes it may because it, i don't need anything else sometimes i might use other herbs that i might put inside the picture but this is a simple bind you don't really need to do anything major you just need to anoint, manifest into, into words, into your thoughts, what you want to be said. Put your energy and your tensions in there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay? So once everything is said and done and everything is cool, this person has calmed down, you can unravel your petition and get rid of it. All right? All you got to do is undo it. All right, you go in there, you cut the cord, you take it apart, you literally dismantle it and you burn it. You put it in your cauldron or whatever, something heat proof that's not going to catch fire and you burn it away. That's it. And it's over. All right. That's only when this is all said and done um, and you feel confident that this person has changed and you don't need to 
keep them bound, then you can release them. Okay. And that's up to you. And I mean, but don't be cruel. Don't just leave them bound just because you want to. And just because you can. All right. Abuse of power is abuse of power. Do what you need to do because you need to do it. All right. And this person needs to be bound and he will be and stay bound until the family feels that it's time to let go. Okay. Let him go. He's good. You know, I mean, let go as in unbind him. He's good. Not to do any harm or permanent harm to him because this is not what this is about. We're not hurting anybody. All right. This particular ritual is not hurting anyone. We are binding him to control himself, to get his fucking shit together, and to stop fucking around, stop hurting other people, stop saying shit to people, stop hurting people because he's physical and emotionally and verbally abusive. Quit his shit. All right? Well, I hope everybody has a blessed day, and I hope that this was helpful to you. Again, this video is long, but that's because I am showing you. When you do this yourself... It won't take you that long. It it will not take you more than 10, 15 minutes to do this. All right? Only because I'm chitter-chatting and talking and stuff like that and I'm instructing. That's why this is a long video. All right? So I hope you learned something. Have a good day and stay blessed.